What's up? It's your girl Nemo and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to be doing something I am so excited for. <laughs> like really excited. It came to me a couple of nights ago and I just cannot stop thinking about it. I have um, scoured Pinterest and YouTube and Google trying to find someone who has done this. Can't find it. I'm sure someone out there somewhere has done this so it's probably not a completely unique idea. Since I've thought about it, I cannot get it out of my head. I have to do it like ASAP. Really, it'd probably be better if I just had more patience and like gave my hair more time to relax since the bleaching I did yesterday, but I just can't. I can't. I gotta do it. I need that dopamine hit. So, so what I'm gonna be doing is half rainbow, like neon rainbow, which I haven't done since like my first video on this channel. And then on this side, I'll be doing gray. <laughs> I, I'm definitely never probably going to do black um, just because that's a big commitment and really hard to get out. Even the semi-permanents are an issue. Also, I know I've got random pieces of pink and purple throughout here. <laughs> um, I did the color remover and it worked pretty well, but I just missed a couple spots, I guess. Um, also, I have some green tintage up here. And I'm just gonna pray that that doesn't affect what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and mix up my colors and section my hair. And after I got the colors mixed up, I will show you like the swatches on a paper towel and show you exactly what colors I used and roughly the ratios I used. I'll show you everything I used once I've got it all mixed up. It took forever, but I got my hair sectioned and I'm really hoping I can keep the colors off of each other some way, somehow. <laughs> Let me show you the colors and tell you what I use. Here is the colors all together. Very satisfying. And here's the gray. And here they are swatched. So for the products I use, I'll start with the gray. So for that I used um, a lot of the Ex Mondo Slate Gray and also um, Ero Ero Platinum. This is the old formula, by the way. I know it's like in the new packaging, but when I squeezed it out and like swatched it and stuff, I can tell it's the old formula. If you don't know what I'm talking about, apparently there's discrepancies in uh, the shades that come in this and the silver, which I also used um, probably about two ounces of this just because I wanted to make sure I had enough um, to cover this whole half of my head. So I wanted it to be like a dark gray, but uh, I went ahead and used some of the silver, which is also the old formula. So just be wary if you're thinking about using these. Apparently they now come like in more of a blue based, which can turn your hair green. So um, just be careful. The ones I have are more purple based. Now for the neons. For the pink, I used the Kiss Atonic Pink. It was a bit darker than I wanted, so I did dilute it with conditioner. For the orange, I used Eero Eero Neon Orange and Lunar Tides in Neon Tangerine. I would say I used equal parts of these and then put a little bit of conditioner just because it was looking like a little bit darker than I wanted. So a little bit of conditioner in this. For the yellow, I used Manic Panic Electric Banana. I didn't dilute it. I didn't mix it with anything. It's just straight up electric banana. For the green, I used Ex Mondo Lime Green and Lunar Tides uh, Neon Lime. And I put about equal parts of these, no conditioner, just mixed them up and that's what I got. For the blue, I used uh, a little bit of each of these, um, about equal parts I'd say, maybe a little bit more Poseidon and then a lot of conditioner, like probably two thirds conditioner because the blue is super pigmented. For the purple, I used Manic Panic Electric Amethyst with a little bit of conditioner, maybe like one third conditioner, just to brighten it up a bit. So that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the hair. <laughs> and I'm gonna start on the rainbow side just to get the hard part out of the way. On this side, it'll be like real easy and fast, but this side, it's gonna be quite tedious. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on that. And yeah, I'm going to start with pink, purple, blue, just because those are my favorite colors. I want them more in the front than orange and yellow. So I'm going to start with pink and then go backwards in the rainbow, if that makes sense. One, two, three, four.
I've got it all on and it wasn't quite as difficult or take nearly as long as I thought it would. It took me like 40 minutes for everything. So that's awesome. Uh, I know I'm so hyped for this video. I have not been this excited about doing a hair thing in a long time. This rainbow is giving me life. Ooh, I can't wait to see how it comes out. I don't know. <laughs> It's gonna be kind of a pain rinsing this and even like washing afterwards, but I'll use like color safe shampoo for a while. I'm gonna keep this probably as long as I can, as long as it doesn't come out like weird. I know there's like that green underneath, so um, hopefully that doesn't affect any of the results. I don't think it will. I'm mainly worried about that with this side. I think the neon colors going over it is fine, but we'll see. Mm. I'm gonna let this sit for probably an hour and come back and show you the results after I've rinsed in cold water. Okay, here we are and I'm not 100% happy with it, but I do like it a lot. It's probably pretty obvious. I missed a big part right here in the purple. <laughs> Just in the front here, it's like the only part that I really missed. And then also another thing bothering me just a little bit is the pink is almost a little bit on the pastel side. It's not as like neon as everything else. So it feels a little bit out of place. Yeah, I've got pink stain <laughs> on my forehead. Don't mind that. And then also the gray is kind of patchy. I like like the tone of it and also there's some gray poking through so, mm. but it's really not noticeable unless I point it out. Let me show you the back. I think I am going to fix it up. I'm going to do a little bit of research and figure out what gray I can get at Sally's that won't be like blue based to where the screen is going to be even more visible. I'm going to try to find something more purple based. And then I'm probably going to put that Kiss Atomic Pink back on here but not diluted and um, just see where that gets me. And then Fix this purple here. I just need to like touch it up. I think the color that I had used was fine. I just need to fix this here. And then I might even go over this green a little bit just because I feel like it's a little bit light. It blends into the yellow almost a little too well. And I want it to just be a little more distinct. I'm gonna wait a couple days before I actually do all this. But so far, I love the whole aesthetic of like gray, neon rainbow. I like it. Also, yeah, my hair is still pretty dried out. Still not falling out, so that's good. But I really need to give this a few days, condition it, <laughs> and fix these minor issues I'm having. Okay, two days later and I am back to fix this, hopefully. <laughs> so for the silver, I'm gonna go ahead and touch it up with this Adore Mystic Gray. I'm a little nervous because it looks like it's very blue based and I'm trying to like cover up this green tint towards the roots and this might just make it worse. It's not a big deal if it does, but uh, I'm going to leave it alone for a little bit after this. I might go over this side with like um, one of those darker blues at some point, but for now that's what I'm using. For the pink, I'm going to be using the same brand and color I did before, the Kiss Temptation Atomic Pink. And I'm gonna use this without diluting it at all. Um, I did dilute it quite a bit last time because it seemed like a bit too bright or dark, I guess. Um, but clearly it does not need to be diluted. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and go over the pink with uh, this not diluted. I'm gonna go over the purple with the same electric amethyst. And I'm pretty sure I diluted it a little bit, but I'm not gonna dilute it at all this time. I'm just gonna put it on there and take care of all the patchiness from where I missed. And I know the sectioning is not like perfect. It's pretty hard to resection stuff like this um, once you've already done it. But I'm gonna give it the old college try. <laughs> um, and then I've got, for the green, I kind of sectioned it forward here. Um, I'm gonna be using Eero Eero Neon Green, just not diluted, just straight out the pouch. So yeah, I'm gonna get these put into the bowls and get started. Forgot to press record. <laughs> but yo, what is going on here? 
in a certain light, it looks like this red. The fuck? Also, this adore is really annoying. It's very runny. I would definitely prefer um, thicker consistency because it's not nearly as messy. So using the brush was making more of a mess than if I just do this. Okay, I'm gonna let this sit for a bit and rinse it out, dry it, all that good stuff. I'll probably be back tomorrow in my time to show you the final, final results. I'll be back in just a second. Here it is, and I'm super happy with how it came out. Like, this is perfect. It's really dark, it's not quite black. It's a very much like a gunmetal gray, and that's exactly what I was going for. It's covered the green really well. Pink. Could still be brighter, um, but I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm really happy with how the purple came out. The green pops way more now against the yellow. Um, yeah, let me um, show you how the back looks. I could not be happier with this. <laughs> I say this a lot, but I feel like I always tend to outdo myself. I think this is my favorite thing I've ever done. <laughs> I I think it might look better like if this was black, but there's just no way I'm putting black on my hair. Not happening. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out and it's free ways for my channel. And I will see you in the next one. Peace, love, God bless.